Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. I want to give God the glory who has given me the privilege to testify in the midst of my brethren. Church, put your hand together for the Lord. Uh, my testimony goes like this. I was born and brought up in Anglican church. I was confirmed there. So, one day, someone invited me to uh, Redeemed Christian Church of God, one of the parish in Kogi State. So, I will... When I attended the service, I discovered that there was a difference between Redeemed Christian Church of God and Anglican Church. So, one question that came to my mind is that, how can we be holding the same Bible and we be running our things differently? So, I, and that very day, the church that I used to attend, the pastor fought with uh, a choir master in that church ah, while the service was going on. A wonderful. So that was what discouraged me not to be going to Anglican Church again. So I started going to Redeem. Though I feel like, I, I still feel like uh, an eagle in the midst of a chicken. That's right. So I still discovered that I have not found my resting place. So one day, when I was giving admission into the school, so I started going to school. I attended RUCF in the school. One day, in a night vigil, I received, and I had an experience. So I didn't know it was the Holy Ghost. I did it because I didn't know the importance of the Holy Ghost. Me, I was just planning, when am I going to start speaking in tongue? So when I <laughs> received the Holy Ghost, I didn't know. So one day, in a revelation... I saw the gate of heaven, and there was a road that leads to the gate. Then there are churches beside the road. And in the revelation, the closest church to the gate of heaven was deeper life. Mm -hmm. So I said, with my carnal interpretation, so I said, maybe deeper life is the closest church to, the, uh, to heaven. So I said, let me start attending deeper life and see. When I see God there, I didn't see anything that looked so special. Oh, man. So, and later, when I discovered this bright TV, I said, Kai, this must be what I have been looking for since all this while. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Oh, my. Praise the Lord, church. So, when I discovered it, uh, though I, started, I stopped going to church, I started hooking, hooking up uh, with a uh, bright TV. Only me. So, uh, one day, Pastor Moses was still preaching. He said, if you said you have found the truth and you said you are no more going to church, you are breaking another scripture, you should start going to church, even if it is a lie. I said, hey, which one be this one again? <laughs> so I started going to redeem. The clo that is the closest church to me. I close very early. I hook up to Bright TV. So that is how I started doing it. When I had the uh, June camp, in June camp, that uh, Pastor Moti said, if you have received an experience and you want God to confirm, he said you should do it. I said, maybe next uh, June camp I will be here. So that God will confirm to me that what I received in RCCG is actually the Holy Ghost. So on Tuesday, I was sitting there when we are not expecting the Holy Ghost. So something came, uh, uh, the Holy Ghost came and was baptizing people. While baptizing people, I made, uh, a, uh, as in, I made a statement. I said, God, if it is the Holy Ghost I have received, make a confirmation. Before I stop saying it, the same experience I had then, it came on me again. So I'm so blessed. Somebody I'm put so your blessed. head together for the Lord. So he so, is now truly confirmed, not the one they did in Anglican. Amen, church. So, and since then, when I even received it in the RCCG, I discovered that the life I used to live, I, I discovered that it is no longer me because... People are testifying that you, you have changed. And I pray that the Lord God will touch each and every one of us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise Church, God. put your hand together for the Lord. And your experience shall be permanent in the name of Jesus.